Hey guys, I promised a more speculation video and I decided to, instead of like making, you know, showing cards and stuff this week, I decided to talk to you about these speculations that I wanted to spec on. Uh, Splinter Twin is about $12 right now and now people will say, oh, it's not $12 anymore. Well, it's $12 as of recording of this video. Uh, Splinter Twin is an interesting speculation. It is the reason I am interested in it. Uh, has nothing to do, absolutely nothing to do with um, modern actually. It's Legacy. Splinter Twin has seen some play in Legacy as a combo deck. And that's appealing to me. I've always lived by the motto, motto if it's good enough in modern, it's good enough for standard. If it's good enough in Legacy, it's probably good enough modern and definitely good enough in standard. And you can look at that, you know, Treasure Cruise, uh, dig through time, all these cards you look at and you say, okay, they dig through time is a dominant card in standard. Um, so dominant, it was banned in other formats. Uh, and you still look at Rhino, Rhino is played in modern, but it's not played in legacy. So there's different levels in my mind of how powerful a card can be. If Splinter Twin is a viable legacy option, that is interesting at $12 to me. That is extremely interesting at $12 because um, now you're not limiting it just to modern, some type of random you know, modern deck. I mean, it's not a random modern deck, it's a tier one modern deck that puts up good results. Uh, but I didn't expect it to be powerful enough in Legacy. So whenever a card moves up, uh, so this is how I view a card as a speculation. I view it as is this card eternally playable? That's the first question I ask. And Rhino is. Rhino is a very good price right now. So I will focus on Splinter Twin this week, but Rhino is also a very good pickup at what he is right now. Um, if I watch the World Magic Championship, what cards are they playing in modern? Are there Rhinos in modern? There are. Are there Tassigars in modern? There are. Are there, you know, Elspeth Sun Champions in modern? There's not. Therefore, you can logically assume that Elspeth will fall off when she rotates, but Rhino may not fall at all. Thoughtseize is a perfect example of a card which, I mean, if it drops below like too much, like, I don't expect it to drop a lot during rotation. Uh, mainly because modern is being pushed, and if you are a player who enjoys magic, you're going to realize, hey, you know, instead of uh, selling these Thought seizes for like half of what they are worth, I can hold on to them and they might go up in value and I can take these cards and then trade them into the standard cards I want. And that is a standard only player. So when you look at Splinter Twin, I love the price, 12 bucks for Splinter Twin. That is uh, fascinating to me because that is a card that was reprinted. Like I'm not gonna take anything away from that. And it could be reprinted in the future. But the fact that its power level is high enough to be at least tested in modern or tested in legacy and it dominates modern at $12, you don't see that many cards that, at that price. Um, and honestly, without the reprint, it could easily be a $40, $50 card uh, given the amount of play it sees in modern as well as you know, the tiny play it sees in legacy. I love it. I love it. And a lot of times, let me make a difference. So a lot of, um, I'm trying to teach you guys how to like, uh, something like Rest in Peace might see a lot of playing Legacy, but it's only sideboard only. When I'm talking about a card to speculate on, I want it to be main board, I want it to be a 4 of, and I want it to dominate. I want it to not be replaceable by another card. Uh, you might say, oh, Kiki Jiki. Kiki Jiki, compared to Twin, one red makes a huge difference. And there's no way that anyone played Kiki Jiki over Twin. Even you know, in an unoptimized uh, deck, why would you do that? So, I like it. I like Splinter Twin at 12. I think it's a good price to buy at, um, especially if you are interested in modern. And I think even if you're interested in standard, you can always trade it. There will be plenty of people who will trade you um, standard cards, any standard card you want for a modern staple. I would do that all day. So anyway, Splinter Twins, interesting at 12. I think it does have room to grow. We will see. Bye, guys.